This video will demonstrate how to use a program called S-E-R-E-N. And it's a Linux program that you have to compile yourself or you do have some binaries available down here. I already have it up and running, so let's take a look at it. You use the terminal for this. And I've already set it up from uh, another computer in the other room that is acting like the guest calling in to the laptop here, where I have all this software set up for you to take a look at. So we already have that, and here's what's coming in grounded tower, and most every tower is going to be grounded unless it's a, a hot AM tower, uh, it's going to act like a tuning. So it's fairly easy uh, once you get it compiled to set it up. You just enter a terminal command and then from here you enter the IP address to connect from the guest to the host and the guest needs to port forward but all that will be in the web page there you can look at that later so we have some metering and we've had this going for a couple hours now and still less than one percent packet loss the audio quality is very good so let's take a listen to the incoming AM broadcast stations to be detuned to avoid influencing AM radio signal patterns. The chart here shows some of the regulatory considerations. You will find different styles of detuning on each cell tower. So that that's pretty good and it's a kind of a peer-to-peer -peer, so the latency is very low. You can also text message right here in the terminal. So you can chat back and forth with your guest. Room for some outline and notes. And we're using the Jack Audio connection. And we have it loaded up with Wine ASIO and a VST host for my microphone. For the Pulse Audio is where Saren is listening and transmitting. So here is the source, and that's how I transmit to it. So we have the microphone here with a couple plugins, and I'll show you that in a second. And it connects so you just draw a line from there to there, and then you'll be transmitting back to your guest. getting some X runs here because I have a very low buffer size. So we'll see how the video turns out and I may have to redo this if there are too many pops and clicks. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. Uh, I'm using 160. You could probably get by with a 512 and 44100 here. So I'm going to take that off because I'm hearing my voice coming out of the other room. So we'll disengage this. And continue here. So we just have some spectrum analysis. The top is the incoming. The bottom here is my microphone. Same thing with the scope here. Just to keep an eye on your waveform. Make sure you're not clipping or they're not clipping. Uh, just some general meters. Left is the incoming. That commercially are a real problem. And the right is my microphone out. I also have a test tone just to send audio. That's very helpful in troubleshooting. So let's go to some of these plugins here. Well out of whack. And we'll go from 
this side here. This is my microphone. We're using in subtract mode reefer is a reaper one of those uh, replugs that are free to download and I just have everything set at the bottom of very basic basic noise removal here's what it sounds like if, if I, I don't use this you may have heard some hissing there we also have uh, AGC so it tries to keep everything at minus 3 dB and right here is my microphone on the right side and the incoming on the left and again we're trying to keep everything everything at minus 3 dB and let's go to the next one here so here's the incoming So your guess may vary in volume, so this helps to keep it. And I'm keeping initially to minus 15. We also have it doing this. And that takes some of the, uh, the whoosh whoosh sound that you get when the AGC kicks in and, and amplifies. So I found that very useful. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. When we went in there was have them strip all of the old coax off the tower, go, go through, through it, it uh, top to bottom, rebonding everything. And it was as much a matter of making it stable. Uh, had it been stable, the station perhaps could, could have, have uh, uh, operated uh, you know, because it's not important what your tower impedance is within reason. But it also, uh, with that degree of coupling, uh, obviously had a large effect on its uh, supposedly non-directional pattern. So, you know, in the last 20 years, uh, I, I myself involved uh, in detuning cell towers. And uh, while I was doing some of that work, and one time I did uh, some work for your... And so that's just... Uh on your side you can control quite a bit of the audio quality here we have uh, the esser just a little bit of an EQ and we bypass it and you could hear the difference and I and again I think this is very helpful and you can kind of piddle around with this and try to get it where it sounds good and I found this AGC very useful so that's for the incoming, from, from your guests to your computer. That's basically it. The uh, audio quality is very good. It's free and open source. Go to here. Check it out. Thanks for watching.